the thing I'm the most proud of is um, two things. I'm really proud of the fact that I know that people can count on me. I'm not flaky. I'm on time. I'm prepared. I've never um, left somebody hanging. I've never not shown up for something. Um, I pride myself on being professional. I'm proud of the fact that um, I've been lucky enough to have success in all different kinds of music. You know, I mean, a lot of people that have success in the music business, there, it's a certain kind of music that they've had success, and that's great. That's awesome. But I really love when I look at my resume, that it's, um, I mean, separate and apart from my songs, which I think, you know, even in my own singing career, I mean, the fact that there's Right Here Waiting, and then there's Don't Mean Nothing, and then there's Hazard, and then there's, I mean, keep coming back. These songs are all really different from each other. But the people that I've had success working with range from Daughtry to Keith Urban to Barbara Streisand. <laughs> you know, it's like all over the map. And I love that. I'm really proud of the fact that um, as a student of music, as somebody who just wants to know everything about every kind of music, that I've had the opportunity to, uh, to create all different kinds of music. You know, I can obviously be way more interactive with fans through Twitter and Facebook. Um, I don't really do, I mean, even though my Facebook page is, you know, 250,000 people or so, whatever, I don't ever do anything personally on Facebook, but I have people that post stuff that I send them, so I'll send them um, photos and videos and stuff, and, and they post it on Facebook. But I don't ever go on Facebook and reply to people or anything like that. But I am on Twitter, and I try every day or every couple of days to go through the feed and answer people specific things. Um, we also do a thing um, where we collect questions and I'll do like a video answer. I'll read questions from different people and answer them. Um, and I started doing this thing called the living room sessions where um, I just do acoustic versions of songs that people, you know, we, we pick five winners and whatever song they want me to do. And some of them are obscure songs, you know. Um, and so I'll sort of dedicate that song to that person. The only thing about Twitter that, that I think is interesting is not, I mean, I know a lot of people use Twitter to promote their music. <clears throat> I don't really look at it like that. I mean, I know that you can. I just like Twitter because it's a different kind of creative outlet for me. My whole mission on Twitter is to try to be funny and try to be, um, in some cases, be funny and sarcastic. But it's also a great place for me to tell people about other music and television shows and movies that I love and especially love telling my followers, you got to check out this song by this person, especially if they're um, sort of unknown or up and coming artists. So I think there's a lot of good about it. I think maybe it was, you know, I was never um, a sun worshiper. I never, like, I was never tan. I was always pale. And I never got out in the sun. So I think a lot of times, you know, the sun will age you big time. So, um, but I've also just never been a terribly destructive guy. I never, never did drugs, ever. No drugs, ever. Um, I like wine, and I've certainly had, you know, certainly had alcohol, but I've never had alcohol problems. Um, I've always been pretty good about taking care of myself and, and working out and eating healthy. And uh, I'm not completely a vegetarian, but I'm pretty close. I only eat fish occasionally. Um, so I, I think I have a pretty healthy lifestyle, which helps. But yeah, I'll be 50 next year. It's crazy. <laughs>